So I was watching Gail King the other day. Is I said I how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone a crime? But I'm just a twenty two year old girl standing in front of a boy asking him for her phone back. So let's take a break from all the nonsense going on right now and talk about something different. I'm going to talk about uh, Soho Karen. Why not? The Soho Karen looking like a real life Meg Griffin. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. Miss Maya Ponsetto showed up to a Gail King interview in a hat that says, Daddy. Who's daddy? Your daddy? Are you the daddy? Do you want Gail to be your daddy? Are you asking daddy to bail you out? Dad, I need $300. That's a lot of money, Hillary. What for? I need a new hat. Daddy and the rest of your family should leave you out to dry like a posh $150 a night hotel towel so that you learn something. Judging by Miss Poncetto's past with hotel and other public freakouts, this is Miss Poncetto's lawyer who also does stand-up comedy. Not a member of Wild Stallions, but she could sing backup. Miss Sharon Gatan, Esquire. I am Sharon, and I am a self-professed foodie. I love food, as you can tell. Sharon, you weigh 120 soaking wet. And uh, the hostess says, would you like to sit at the communal table? No. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Enough, Sharon, enough. Her lawyer has tried to work with this woman, tried to mitigate the damage, but Soho Karen is too dumb to realize when someone is trying to help her. Spoiled, entitled brat. The lawyer tried to tell Miss Ponsetto it was business attire, clean cut appearance, but this woman insisted that she show up wearing her workout clothes apparently with a daddy hat. Gatan advised her client to remove the hat, but Ponsetto insisted. Lawyer tried to get Gail King crew to step in, telling Karen that her hat was bad for lighting, but of course she wouldn't listen. When your own lawyer throws you under the hotel luggage cart, you know you've got issues. Gatan said, unfortunately, she wasn't willing to heed my advice, and she proceeded to maintain herself in a different manner and with a defiant tone with both King and myself. This is the most entertaining Gail King interview since Robert Kelly cried and screamed on national TV. Didn't do this stuff. This is not me. Y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. So let's just jump right into it. Oh, and hit that like button and comment if you would. It helps me out. Subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. We have your, what you, 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 see, you see two black people? No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now, the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. She may add resisting arrest to her charges now. Good job, Maya. Help me understand, what made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching the, the people that had been exiting the hotel because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that uh, might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. This woman's uncle says she clearly has mental issues. Her lawyer says she has a lot of work to do on herself and her immaturity also shows here. The tone she uses, like an insolent teenager, just want to smack it off of them because this look says you are the dumbest thing on this planet i admit yes i could have approached the situation differently or maybe not yelled at him like that and made him feel you know maybe some sort of uh inferior way making him feel as if i was like hurting his feelings because that's not my intention i i consider myself to be super sweet i really never ever meant for it to like hurt him or his father either Hurt his feelings and his spine and his neck. You tackled him, Maya. Hurt his feelings? 
are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone? Is that what you're saying? Um, not everyone. Just the just the people that in the meantime, while while the hotel manager was checking the the footage, I just wanted to do my part as best as I could. Not everyone. Just members of a very specific group of people. I wonder if a mirror had been in front of her, would she have accused herself? You just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and, you know, you're going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access to the only way that you're able to get back home? Well, imagine if you're in New York, you're 14 and you're at a swanky hotel and you go downstairs for brunch with your dad and you're attacked by real life Meg Griffin and accused of stealing. We all know what this woman is trying to do, manipulation, but someone should tell Karen that if you want to appear sweet and innocent, you don't wear a meme on a baseball cap and yoga pants and you at least try to appear broken up about it all. Especially since you are trying this act after all of your problematic behavior has been brought to light. I just don't think I would randomly attack people, is, is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did. What do you think when you look at that video? You're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops, and it looks like you're just you know, going nuts, for lack of a better word. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone! I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I... No. The same type of behavior over and over and over does, though. Entitlement defines you. I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that particular video, you're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? But at the end of the day, the dad did end up uh, like slamming me to the ground and uh, pulling my hair and th throwing me and dragging me across the ground. So I, I will say that. The father dragged you across the ground because you wouldn't let go of a teenage son when he tried to separate you. Feel as though I assaulted him. Have her lawyers not shown her the footage, the very security footage Karen begged the hotel to show her day of the incident? Yeah, but, but I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son of attacking him how? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay, I apologize. Can we move on? No, it shows you physically jumping him from behind and putting him on the ground. The dumb innocent girl act doesn't work for you, Maya. It just doesn't. I know you're saying I don't need to, I just want to apologize, but I do think that there should be some context to your actions that day. Okay, so basically I'm, I'm a 22 year old girl. I am, I, I don't, I, racism uh, is, I said, I, how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone a crime? Don't need to be a body language expert to see her stuttering and blubbering as being shocked she's being called out. Maybe if she listened to her lawyer's advice, not her comedy, as that would be cruel and unusual. This PR tour and image recovery would have gone better for her. Her lawyer knew this whole thing was a setup to give police an actual confession to the attack, but for some reason doesn't seem to have told her client that, or maybe her client refused to hear it. Not once so far has this lawyer tried to stop her client from incriminating herself and looking foolish and childish. Where is the context in that? Mia, what is the Mia, deeper, Mia, what is the deeper, Mia, what is the deeper Mia, story it's here? not, it's, it, that's not the problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this, this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone. And then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. You're I, right, get, I get it. Enough. The hotel no, no, did have my phone. Okay, she did tell Ponsetto to stop here. But of course, she just keeps going. The hotel had your phone. The boy doesn't work for the hotel. And the hotel got your phone from an Uber driver whose car you left it in. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. 
All right. Oh, oh wow. Great, Gail. Enough. 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 That was my favorite part. Enough. Now, the Harrell family's lawyer released a statement last night. They said this is not about an apology from someone who until a few days ago was claiming she did nothing wrong and, in fact, alleged that Keon Harrell Sr. had assaulted her, someone who targeted a 14-year-old black teenager because of the color of his skin. We all know that this multi-part interview is being released like this for ratings. We know it's not about King actually caring about the victim here. Soho Karen also claimed that she was having a panic attack, among other excuses. So Soho Karen here, when police show up in California to arrest her, she has a short car chase, refusing to pull over until she's at her driveway. She refuses to get out of the car and even tries to close the door on a cop's leg. Once in custody, she had a short Zoom court hearing where she agreed to willingly be extradited to New York to face charges. Police have not said if they plan to charge her with resisting arrest as well. Maya Ponsetto is like Justin Bieber when he was immensely popular and rich but still acting like a child. She is going to dig this hole deeper and deeper because she can't see the forest for the trees. Too stubborn to listen to advice or realize she is just further damaging herself. You're still here? It's over. Go home. The bird is your word. The bird is your word. The bird is your word. The bird is your word.